Hi, boys and girls. I want you to guess. I am showing you a picture, and I want you to guess who the people are in this picture. Here's the picture. Can you guess who the people on this picture are? Try one, two, three, four, five. Who did you guess they are? You probably can recognize one face on that picture. That's the face of Mrs. Moses. Can you see who that guy is with a head full of hair? Well, that is Pastor Moses. You know, we took that picture on our wedding day 36 years ago. Long time. Let me show you another picture. What do you think this is? This is a Valentine's Day card. The card that Mrs. Moses gave me 38 years ago. It is a very special card and I have that with me very, very safely. Let me show you one more thing. Can you guess what this is? This is a wedding band. My friend, Mr. Nat Cowell, shared his wedding band with me and I am showing that to you. So, three, three objects, a picture, a Valentine's card, and a wedding band. What does that tell you? They all tell you one thing. They talk about love and two people's commitment to one another. You know, boys and girls, the Bible teaches us that God values marriage. And so, you know, between Mrs. Moses and myself, Mr. Nat Cowell and his wife Katrina, and a lot of husbands and wives love each other, and they have made a commitment to be together, to be faithful to each other for life. You know, today we are talking about the seventh commandment, where God says, don't commit adultery. You know what that means? In case you don't know what it means, this is what it means in a simple thing. It says that all of us, when we make promises, particularly for those of us who are married, and we make promises to our husbands or wives, we keep our promises. And you can too, boys and girls. It's not just for adults. When you say something to somebody, I wish you would keep your word. You are known as somebody who keeps their promise. So whenever you see a wedding ring on somebody's finger, maybe your mom or dad or someone else, when you go to a wedding ceremony, when you love wedding food, when you see a Valentine's card, just think about this one word, commitment, commitment, commitment. And I hope that all of you, as you get older, you would be able to make that type of a commitment so you can have a happy life afterwards. I wish you the very, very best.